Horse race over in Italy, of course, heading into 2024 with Juventus just two points adrift of Internationale. Who's going to take advantage this weekend? We're going to take a little look. Next. <laughs> Another production video today. We're taking a look at match number 20, of course, over in Italy. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you do where you've been, smash your subscribe button back up to the old things CR related, Baba Rose related, World football related. We've got all here, boys. Under one roost game. Yes, squeezing this one out a little bit late, but we're getting there, of course, uh, as we take a little look back at the last weekend's action. Of course, kicking off forward to this current week's drama over in uh, Syria. Ah, we'll get to it all in a second. Of course, big, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. But of course, if you haven't done so already, make Make sure you hammer the old subscribe, tick the old uh, thumbs up button and all that kind of jazz as we recap the results. Again, I am coming at you a little bit rough. I wasn't even meant to be here today. I was meant to be up the road. So we are we are a little bit late and also we're not doing the Super Bowl just yet. Still alive, still active and we'll get there eventually once everything settles down towards the end of this January. But keep the, keep the predictions coming on over in Super Brew uh, to see if you are the King Time Prediction King. So we are going to look back though at the results from last week, which will be on the left hand side. Uh, actually, the results on the right side. My prediction will be on the left hand side of the screen. Oh, it's all coming at you and thinking fast. So Bologna, 2 0 winners over uh Genoa was my pick. The real deal was a 1 1 draw there. Internationale with a, a 2 1 win over Hellas Verona. Final score there. I went with a 3 0. Uh, we got Monza 3 2 winners on the road against Fossione. I went with a draw. Uh, Cagliari with a big away day uh, point against Lecce. I went with a 2 1 win for Cagliari. Not too great on that one. Salsuda with an upset 1 win over Fiorentina. 2 to win the other way in my eyes. Uh, AC Milan with a big 3 0 win over Empoli. 3 1 win for me. Uh, Torino, big 3 0 win over Napoli. Goodness gracious me, the champions are in free fall. I only went for a draw though. I did see something out of this one, but got it wrong. Lazio with the 2 1 winners of Udinese. Got that one spot on the nose. Uh, Juventus. Us two on winners away days against San Antonio. I went with a 3 0. And Atalanta with a big away day point against Roma, of course. I went with a 3 1, as you do. Uh, there I am. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Uh, get out of there. Bloody hell. Find yourself. Uh, sneeze. Do something. Get out of the shot there, Dirk. <laughs> there we go. This is what the table looks like right here, right now. It is internationally at the top of the table with two points clear over Juventus with Milan quite a distance away now in third with Fiorentina in that fourth spot. The race four fourth is hot to bloody trot with, of course, uh, Fiorentina and possibly all the way down to maybe even Torino arguing that they could be in the mix for that. So, uh, something to keep an eye on. But going down looks like Santina and Pauli and Hellas for Rome. Now, Cagliari hanging on right now uh, into 17th spot. That's, of course, the situation in the table. And, of course, it's not too long away before the next round of games, which we're going to get to in just a second as I get myself right back up there uh, in, the, in the nosebleed section. So here we go then. Looking forward to these games. Coming at you this coming weekend, starting on the 13th of uh, January is Genoa. It's Torino. Let's get into this one then, shall we? Now, these two sides have played each other 43 times since 1993. 12 was Genoa, 18 was Torino, has been 13 draws as well. Big swimming for Genoa, 5 1 win, they got 60 goals. 43 games, 1.40 goals a game on average. Torino, though, 3 0 win, their biggest score, 64 goals in 43 games, 1.49 goals a game on average. They're on 67% form for Torino right now, just one defeat in the past six. They are 10th with 27 points on the board. Up against Genoa, unbeaten in the last four, however, just one win in the last six. They are 13th at the table with 21 points, but 42% form is their record at the moment. Last time around, it was a uh, in Genoa, it was a 1 win for Genoa back in March 2022. They were on the back of a 1 1 draw against Bologna not too long ago. That was, of course, back on the 5th. With Torino's big 3 0 win over uh, Napoli still ringing in their ears. The odds here 90 to 10 uh, for the host here. 21 to 10 is the draw, and 8 to, uh, 30 to 8 is their way win. It's a tight one, could go either way. Back in the host, though. 1 0 win for Genoa on this one. Now, Nap Napoli up against Salatina as well. Also on Saturday, 13th of Jan. Played each other 16 times in 1999. We've got 8 wins for Napoli, 2 for Salatina, and 6 draws uh, between the two sides. 4 1 win, the biggest for the champions. 24 goals scored in those 16 games. 1.50 goals a game on average. Salatina, though, 2 to win their biggest. 12 goals scored in 16. Not point seven five goals a game against Napoli when they've two uh, locked horns. 25% form for the visitors at the moment, just one win in six. They are 20th, 12 points on the board. Up against the Napoli side, who are down to ninth with 28 points on the board without a win in the last four. 42% form for them heading into this, but they did beat uh, Napoli. Uh, Napoli did 
beat Santino the last time they played each other. That was back in November, but that was in Santino. The last time they played each other in Naples, it was a one more draw back in uh, April 2023. The odds here, 3-1 on is your Napoli, 17-4 is the draw, and 7-1 is your long shots. So I think no Osterman uh, for this one, of course, going over, way, over to the uh, uh, AFCON, so going to have to do it the hard way. But I think they'll do it, 2-0 win in the end, with the quality that they still have on the books. Next up, we have Verona against M. Pauli coming at you uh, this Saturday as well. Played each other 16 times, 2004. We've got four wins of Verona, five wins of M. Pauli, and seven draws. Of course, Verona, biggest win for them, 3-1 win. They've got 15 goals in 16 games, 0.94 goals a game on average. M. Pauli, though, 4-3 win, the biggest score, 15 goals in 16 games, 0.94 goals a game heading into this uh, match, of course. 25% form for M. Pauli without a win in the last seven games. They are 19th with 13 points on the board. We get a, a Verona side, 33% form for them, just one win in six. They are 18th with 14 points on the board. Last time around, though, over in Verona at the Stadio Maracento Betagodi. It was a 1-1 draw back in May 2023. Uh, but the odds for this one, then, we've got Verona, 23-20. to 20 for the victory, 9 to 4 is the draw, 5 to 2 is your away win. Could go either way, couldn't it? Gonna go with a draw myself on this. 1 1 in the end on this one. Monza against Internazionale complete the Saturday games. And of course, this is the late one. Played each other four times to 2020. One win for Monza, two for Inter, and there's been one draw. Monza, though, 1 0 win was their only win. Scoring three goals in those four games combined, 0.75 goals a game on average. Internazionale, though, 2 0 win their biggest. Scoring five goals in those four games, 1.25 goals a game when taking on Monza. 67% form for the leaders at the moment, just one defeat at the last six. They are top with 48 points. So the Monza side doing well in 11th uh, with 25 points. Uh, 42% form for them over the last six. Last time around, though, over in Monza, it was that 2 2 draw back in January 2023. But the odds here 6 1 your Monza, 3 1 is your draw, 2 1 is your away win. It's Inter, they're going to win it, aren't they? 2 1 win, just like the odds for the three points. Lazio against Lecce. Let's get into this one on Sunday, January the 14th. Played each other 27 times. These two sides in 1993 we've got 15 wins for Lazio, 7 wins for Lecce. We've got five draws, of course. Biggest win for the hosts was a 4 0 win. They've got 54 goals in 27 matches, uh, two goals a game on average. Lecce, though, 5 3 win the biggest score, 36 goals in 27 games, 1.33 goals a game as well. Lecce, though, without a win in the last three, 12 at the table and 21 points on the board right now. They are 42% form for them. I guess the Lazio side, who are six with 30 points, three wins on the bounce of Sari Ball, 58% form for them heading into this one. Last time around, it was a 2 2 draw in Roma. That was back in May 2023. But the odds here, we have Lazio 2030 on for the victory. They are favoured here, 13 to 5 is a draw, and 90 to 4 is your away win. Uh, Lecce, it's going to be uh, one sided, I think. Lazio should take, take care of business here. 3 0 win, job done. And away they go. Cagliari up against free flying, high flying Bologna, Champions League chasing Bologna. Pitched the 35 times in 1996. 11 wins for Cagliari, 15 wins for Bologna, 9 draws, of course. Biggest win for the hosts. 5 1 win. They got 37 goals in 35 games at 1.06 goals a game on average. Bologna, though, 3 0 win the biggest, scoring 45 goals in 35 matches, 1.29 goals a game on average. Bologna, though, without a win in the last three, taking a bit of a dump in form right now. Fifth in the table with 32 points on the board. Up against Cagliari side, uh, winless in 5, 33% form for them. They are 17th out the drop zone in the moment. 15 points on the board as well. Last time around though in um, Cagliari between these two sides it was a 2-1 win for uh, Cagliari back in January 2022. Their waist side has not won this game since Bologna beat Cagliari in Cagliari back in October 2013. It's a long time ago it has been. 2-1 win. 2-1 uh, is the odds Cagliari 2-1 is also the draw. 29-20 is the Bologna victory here. It's tight any which way you like it. I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for the visitors who are flying high. Fiorentina against Udinese on Sunday, January the 14th. Played to the 57 times since 1995. We've got 30 wins for Fiorentina, 70 wins for Udinese, and 10 draws, of course. Biggest win for Fiorentina. We've got a 3-0 win. They've got 89 goals scored in 57 games, 1.56 goals game on average. Udinese, though, 4-0 win. The biggest score 64 goals in 57, 1.12 goals a game uh, when playing at Fiorentina. 42% form for the visitors right now, just one win in six, a lot of draws knocking around for them. 60 for the day was 17 points on the board. Up against the Fiorentina side, who are fourth, 33 points on the board, winning four of the last five, of course, looking A-OK -okay for Europe at the moment. Last time around, it was a 2 0 win for Fiorentina back in May 2023. Of course, the odds here we have 20 to 13 on for the host here. They are favoured. 13 to 5 is your 92 is your away win, which is, of course, Udinese. We're going to go with a 2 1 win for Fiorentina, uh, of course, keeping themselves in the mixer for those uh, Champions League spots. Milan, I guess Roma, probably one of the games of the day, if not the games of the weekend, uh, coming at you. The Giuseppe Mezza played each other 67 times in 1993, 26 wins for Milan. We got 19 wins for Roma and 22 draws between the two sides. Biggest win for Milan was a 4 1 win. They got 90 goals in 67 games, 1.34 goals a game heading into this one. Though Roma under Mourinho, of course, 5 0 win. The biggest score, 87 goals scored in 67 matches, 1.30 goals a game on average. Roma, though, on 58% form for them right now. A couple of defeats in the last six, eight for the table, 29 points on the board. Okay, up against Milan's side under Pioli, of course, 92% form for them right now. Brilliant, amazing form, winning five of the last six. 
six, unbeaten in at least the last six with a draw in there. Third on the table with 39 points on the board. Last time around, though, in Milan, it was a 2-2 draw back in January 2023. Milan are unbeaten against Roma over the last six, picking up four wins and a couple of draws. The odds, though, 6-5 is your Milan. They are favoured here. 5-2 is your Roma. 11-5 is the draw. Backing Milan here. 2-1 win for Roma. Unfortunately, uh, of course, Roma slipping away from those Champions League spots. Atalanta uh, against Fiorossione on Monday, January the 15th. They play each other seven times to 2010. We've got four wins at Atalanta, one for Frosione, two draws, of course. Biggest win for Atalanta, 5-0 win. They've got 13 goals in, of course, those uh, seven games. 1.86 goals a game on average. Frosione, though, 2-1 win, the biggest. Two goals scored in seven games, 0.29 goals a game heading into this one. Frosione just one win in six. 25% form for them right now. They are 14th with 19 points on the wall. Up against Atalanta side, pretty hot to trot right now. 75% form for them right now. Just one defeat at the last six as well. Coming at you, last round in Atalanta was a big 4-0 win for the hosts here. Of course, who oh, have scored 10 goals in the last three games come by. I guess Frosty only, but that doesn't include a defeat. Uh, 29 on is Atalanta, 16 to 5 is the draw, 7 1 is your long shots. Atalanta look good right now. They are back in business and, of course, chasing for that Champions League dream once again. And then wrapping up, wrapping up, it is second place, uh, Juventus. Let me get Sal Sulio coming at you on Tuesday, uh, the 16th of January, the Allianz Stadium. Played each other 22 times since 2013. 15 wins for Juve, 4 for Sal Sulio, and there's been three draws, of course. Biggest win for Juventus, 7 8 win. They've got uh, 51 goals in 22 games, 2.32 goals a game on average. Sal Sulio, though, 4 2 win the biggest score in 22 goals in 22 matches as a goal a game on average they are, of course are on 25% form just one win in six they are 15th with 19 points on the board up against the Juve who are second 46 points on the board right now 92% form for them winning four in the bounce uh, unbeaten at least the last six games last time around over in Turin it was a 3-0 win for Juve back in August 2022 they are favoured here comfortably 9-4 on with a victory 3-1 is the draw and 7-1 is your long shots that's Salsulio of course it's going to be a win for Juve on this one 3-1 win for them to take it to the house and if I'm right which I bloody well hope so the table should look a little something like this of course with the internationality top of the charts there with Juventus in second I believe have I, have I updated this hopefully I have yes I have uh, of course uh, Milan and all the gang and all that kind of piece. And Fiorentina in that fourth spot. Going down, Cagliari back in the drop zone there, and Pauli and Salatina. That's my picks, guys. Get them in nice and early. Of course, we'll see you back when we come back around. But until then, guys, I'll see you soon for the next one. Subscribe.